Chris Henderson from Northern Tribe Outdoors. And uh, it's time for some Monday duck killing. Had a pretty high tide and uh, so we got all the way up to a log that we like to hunt. And uh, quite a bit of water in here still. So we're gonna hunt this and then hunt the outgoing. So it should be a pretty good day. Pretty foggy paddle over, but then the fog cleared out. And we're gonna have just kind of squalls kind of moving through on the day, I think. Uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna see. So we'll see how the birds uh, birds want to play today. Uh, of course, got Tori the Wonder Dog and uh, the usual marsh setup. So, uh, and just expect some, some nice birds to come working their way in. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, hope you enjoy the hunt. Tori, come. Tori, come. Up. Up. Tori. Oh, back. Tori, back. Tori. Tori, come. 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 That bird worked real pretty. Right over the top of me. I hit it. Killed it with the first or hit it with the first shot and it still had a it's going down, but I decided to finish it off. You got a complete maple leaf on that one. Here comes the second bird. Come! Fetch it up, Tori. Tori! 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 Come the other one. Let's it up. Let's it up. 
Come on. Come. Hold. 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 Come. Hold. Out in the world, like feathers dying all over the place here. No, come. Uh, it's just sitting down on birds and the decoys. Tori made a great retrieve on a bird that was quite a ways out there. Ah, bird. Touch it up, Tori. Pretty sure that's the drake. Touch it up. And that's the limit. Come on. they landed I think they might have both been hens but that's the limit almost hadn't even got hungry yet all right hey I wanted to show you something about uh, one of the reasons why the West Coast boys get so frustrated with this one pintail limit and uh, take a look at this real quick here's my birds from today now, if you can't see their beaks, if they're either flying to the back of you, uh, these, these ducks are real similar. <laughs> Here's a widgeon. Here's a widgeon. Here's a teal. That's a pintail. There's a spoonie. There's a widgeon. And there's a widgeon. If you turn them over, nope. Now if you turn them over, the widgeon have a nice white breast, which is kind of helpful, but oftentimes 
you're uh, hard pressed to see that if they're flying away from you or if they're flying sideways to you. Um, so duck ID is just paramount. And then you look at like a, look at the comparison between these two. So once you shoot, <laughs> and even if we put a pin widgeon down here, Once you shoot a, uh, a hen pintail, man, you gotta be on pins and needles just hoping that uh, you don't hit another one because the reality is these stupid hen pintails, especially these young ones, they fly in the middle of these flocks of widgeon. And so you're hunting widgeon and you're whacking pintail. That can be the danger. So, you know, bird ID before you shoot it is critical, but sometimes you're thinking, oh, this is a whole, they're whistling at you. You got a whole bunch of widgeon and, <laughs> dog brings back a pintail uh, so anyway uh, that's why we get kind of upset at uh, especially on the west coast because we see a lot of pintail uh, they're just all over the place and uh, I don't think we have the problem that the continental population of pintail do and uh, so we end up having to suffer for it and uh, you know because the continental population is not doing very good so you know if you have two pintail then what happens is, is that you uh you're able to you know kill one and then it doesn't put you on such a pins and needles for you know what's coming up next but anyway so there's my rent for the day hey it's a great hunt we had a lot of fun we uh we killed a lot of birds ended up with uh with seven birds uh all hens uh hen spoonie hen pintail hen teal and hen widgeon so uh it's a not let's not be nice to girls day i guess so anyway it was uh it was a good day and uh we only had to move twice which man that's crazy when you're hunting the mud flat so it was a nice uh nice hunt now i'm gonna stow all the stuff and we're gonna make it uh make it home before lunchtime i think so good stuff fun hunt today we'll see you next time